Hey everyone. Some of you might remember me doing a video on one of these in-store commercial things some time ago. And it just so happens I managed to get my hands on another one. Uh, same concept with this one, except this one's a lot smaller. And uh, this one I haven't messed with or anything, so it's still actually uh, completely works. The batteries are a bit dead, so it only plays uh, one video. <laughs> and then after that you can't play anymore. So, um, but the batteries are replaceable in this. Uh, well, you got to take off that screw there, I guess, and then you can lift this up. And there's three double A's in this battery pack. This uh, would be like sitting inside the, the, the box that it came in, and then this was on the outside. So this would be sitting there. You'd come up to the product. You'd push the button. You know, it plays like a little commercial video so you can uh, see what it's about. Um, if you look at the outside of this thing, uh, there's the, the brand of this thing. It's so commercial. And on the side, on the bottom... Right there inside of that little bubble is what looks like a micro SD card, which it pretty sure it is, and uh, patent pending. Um, so that's uh, the front side. Looks like they have this here so you can hang it somewhere. The back, got two wires coming in. Oh, and there's a connector here to separate the battery from, from this thing. And the world's first disposable multimedia sales tool. Um, I don't know how to feel about the whole disposable thing, but whatever. <laughs> um, not a whole lot. Uh, made in China. So this is, uh, the plastic's just kind of like glued into, onto the, that cardboard backing there. So it's not like one of those blister packs that tries to murder your hands if you ever try to like tear one open. So this should be pretty easy to open. There's uh, no screws at all. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside of it. It's probably pretty much just going to be an LCD, uh, some sort of SOC for, to, you know, play the video. And then the micro SD card slot there with the button and maybe like a small little amp IC for for the speaker because it does play audio so let me show you real quick here that it does work we'll plug this in uh, one thing that i thought was kind of interesting is that this battery pack and i don't know if you'll be able to see it on here let me see and uh you can kind of see it right there uh, it's got two positions it says on one and on two and off in the middle except that the switch that's in there is actually only uh it's only two positions it's not three so i'm guessing this battery pack must uh sometimes be used for something else that you know has like two different settings on it so if we turn this on look at this thing it starts uh, loading up and then that's when it starts playing the commercial the brightness is like super terrible on it you can like barely see what you're even looking at so and then also like it seems like something with the polarizer if you hold it in this direction when you're looking at it in person turn it off real quick if you're looking at it in this direction the image actually looks a lot clearer than if you're actually holding it horizontally like that. So I'm guessing the polarizer on this LCD must have like, um, you know, must be like pretty coarse or something compared to some other ones. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so it looks like we should be able to just uh, pull this packaging apart here from the, the edges. And uh, that's actually glued on pretty well. It's not coming off as easily as I thought it would. Taking a little bit of effort, but oh, there it goes. So separate that from there. Flip this tapped here too. You can see something there so far. Oh, it's foam. Oh, that's a, gonna be a tiny board inside of that. Well, I mean, relatively tiny compared to the other one. You can already kind of see it. And uh Sure enough, there's the SD slot. Whoa, I almost chucked the thing. <laughs> so, there it goes. And that's a tiny IC compared to the one that we saw inside the other one. So, there's a hole inside. And this is just like another sort of a cardboard, like a small box, an open back box there. And uh, here's the packaging. It's just clear plastic, as we saw. So let's um, look a little deeper in here. This looks like it should just pop out and it's a lot of it's kind of held in there with hot glue. So you can see there's more hot glue right there with this cable. They glued it right onto the back of that LCD. And this here is coming off fairly easily. Try to push the LCD out from the back. Well, I mean, I'm pulling, pushing it from the front, but trying to get it to pop out the back, but it seems like it's a little stuck in here. So that's coming off. And this here, it's like they use some double-sided tape on to attach it to that, that foam sponge right here. 
So this is coming off fairly easily, it's just basically tucked on the edges. This part right here is a little tougher. So there we go. That's what the LCD looks like. It's got a little chip on the bottom there. Um, there's the button. There's another button right here, huh? Interesting. And then there's also some sort of a connector here. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe that's just another connector for battery. Or, I don't know. We'll take a look a little bit closer in a bit. But yeah, that's the main play button right there. I guess you should plug in the battery, push this button, and see what it does. And a uh, little tiny speaker right here. This looks like it should just pop out as well. And I just, uh, oh no, I didn't. I thought I pulled the whole front of it off, but it looks like it was just a, a little grill right there, a little screen, maybe to protect dust from getting into it or whatever. So there's a speaker with some more hot glue. So that's off. All right, so starting from the left there, in the top corner, we've got what looks like to be our, and uh, probably is, our little audio amplifier. That's a tiny 8-pin job right there. That's, um, looks like it says LPA8003. And as we move down a little bit here, that says MXIC, so that's that looks to be like an EEPROM. It's a 25-something part. Um, and I'm just looking at the stuff through the camera, so that's uh, as best as I can make out of it right now. I'm going to have to look at it up closer with the lens or something to see what all this stuff actually is. And that would be our main SOC right there. And I think I have that upside down. The numbers look like they're upside down, so let's flip it over and see what that's supposed to be. And who knows, that might be some sort of a custom part. I don't even know if I'll be able to find any information on that. Got a uh, crystal right there and a little sin cylinder, so that's going to be for that main SOC. And I already see something that we saw on the other one here. Check it out. Got a little message for everybody. So if we peel this off, I'm sure we'll see the rest of it. It's our technology. Sure enough, there we go. <laughs> it's our technology pitch. Jeez. I wonder why they felt they had to put that on there. I'm like, and let's see what's underneath this other sponge here. Yeah, looks like just some more test points of some sort. So, yeah, not a whole lot underneath those. There's our micro SD card. Pop that out. Whoa. Oh, whopping 128 megs. Of course, they're not going to be using, like, really high quality video. It actually looks super grainy when you look at it there. So, that looks like just a regular micro SD card. I don't think they've done anything special to it. So I don't know if uh, we'd have the same issue we had with the other one where once we stuck it in a computer, we actually couldn't see what was on it because supposedly it was encrypted. So not a ton more stuff in the bottom here. It looks like that might be some sort of a USB interface. See that we've got uh, one wire right there that looks like it might be for power like 5 volts or whatever and then that would be like for ground and on the opposite side that one connector there doesn't seem to go to much so I'm wondering if it's part of the same thing I mean, we can kind of see like a no yeah we kind of see like some traces going right there so I don't yeah who knows what that's actually for looks like the only things that are holding this board onto the LCD is just mostly that that hot glue right there on the edge and there's like another piece of foam right there. So I'm going to carefully try to peel this up. And hopefully I don't break anything in the process. Yeah. It's looking like it's a little tough here. I have a feeling if I try to tear it or try to pull it too hard, I'm going to end up damaging that LCD ribbon there. And it's, it looks like it's really, really delicate. So actually, before we do that, let's power it on and see what that button right there does. I cut a slit into this cardboard backing here because trying to deal with this is kind of a pain so let's get rid of that all right plug in the battery and since we still got the SD card it's going to try to play but I'm just going to push stop here we'll push this button and uh, it doesn't do anything so all right let's see let's see what it says when we take out the card it's probably just going to say no card inserted or whatever oh wow it's got its own built-in thing. 
So that's probably what's, oh, you know what? That's probably what's inside of that uh, EEPROM that we saw in the back there. So that's probably where that commercial is stored. I doubt it's going to be like stored on the main little SOC right there. So, well, that was kind of a little bit more surprising than the other one. All right, I'm using the hot air station. I'm going to just gently try to heat up this glue here and see if I can get it to, to separate this board from the LCD. Slowly coming up. It's doing. It's gone. There it goes. Wow. And we are greeted with more foam. So I have a feeling that this, uh, the ribbon from this is probably soldered directly onto that, the boards there on the contacts. This is, uh, kind of stringing like cheese. So let's see if we pull this foam back a little, what we can see. And, uh, sure enough, yeah, just kind of like hot barred straight across the top up there. So there's the ribbon. We can see that we got our LED connections right there on the left. We got cathode 4, cathode 3, 2, 1, and then we got some anode connection there. The other ribbon here. So and then we got what's going to be our all of our interface lines right there coming out of that LCD. And coming down to the bottom here where it's soldered onto the, the board. I'm wondering how much uh, or how many bits of data they're actually using there. It looks to be hey, it's really tiny, tiny traces on that thing, but it seem to be too many. So, yeah, it looks like they're using a parallel connection maybe to that. I'm wondering if we can actually find any info on this LCD. Maybe it's something that would really to would be really easy to be using the something else. There's our bit of hot glue there. Took off the EEPROM that was on the board here. I just want to kind of curious to see what it does if you remove it. So here we go. We're going to apply power. And uh, nothing so far. What happens if you push a button? Mm, none. Huh. Well, I guess it needs the EEPROM. <laughs> So that was a look at another one of these uh, Instamercial disposable little uh, video players things and I uh, hope you might have found that mildly interesting at all and no it's that exciting it was, it was a little bit boring actually not a whole lot of stuff to look at in there but remember if you like this kind of stuff the thumbs up it kind of helps me uh, gauge what sort of interest uh, people have in things and um, subscribe if you're new here and you like this kind of stuff so uh, thanks guys for watching I'll see you guys next time.